Hello, good evening guys. Um, it's been a while, but um, it's as you know, or probably already know, um, Goldman Sachs is uh, under investigation by the SEC for uh, defrauding its clients, selling them mortgage-backed securities, and at the same time uh, shorting them because they knew full well that they were garbage. So it goes. <laughs> I mean... Anyways, well, I think there's a war going on between Chase and uh, Goldman Sachs. Because, take a look at who's the whistleblower. Where did he come from again? That's right. Goldman Sachs. And who's running the SEC? Uh, Gary Gensler. And where did he used to work? Oh, Goldman Sachs. I see. So, and then uh, on top of that, um, I believe that um, Chase owns the SEC. They're controlling the SEC because um, they got out of the um, Madoff scam in August, just before the uh, collapse of the market. So, obviously, they knew what was what time it was and what was going to go down. Um, I don't have any direct evidence of how Chase is and uh, is directly involved with the SEC, but I bet you that they, they, they're well connected up there. So, is there a war going on? I personally think so because you know what, these guys are, are not only they band together to destroy you, but they also just try to get at each other as well. Because the more power, the, the more power they have, the more control they can they can wield, right? And whoever's got the most power, right, it wins. That's what the, that's what these guys are after, and that's all they care about, power. Um, who's gonna win? I really don't care. Um, I, I would prefer if they both lost, but uh, that's not going to happen. So what's what I see going down the pipe, though, is that um, the last time um, Goldman Sachs got into this kind of predicament uh, was before 9-11. Then, all of a sudden, they lucked out. And, and Building 7, which housed the SEC investigative data, collapsed because of a fire. Wasn't that special? They, they really got lucky on that one. <laughs> so anyways, uh, Goldman boys are surrounded the presidents. And then recently the president came out and said, Hey, listen, if there's a nuclear bomb... Uh, going off in America, don't expect the federal government to spawn, respond for at least three days. So, what that means is uh, a black swan is about to fly. Not may not be particularly a nuclear bomb, but it's about to fly and you better make sure you have at least a week's worth of food and water to uh, and some, some guns and bullets to defend yourself. So, you've been warned, the black swan's going to fly to help out Goldman Sachs, the men who do God's work.